The duct tape antenna video on this channel is by far the one that is viewed the most. This is Victor Echo 6 Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray. Uh, Victor Echo 6 Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray. <laughs> this is Victor Echo 6 Charlie Bravo Golf. Full quieting into the repeater, so well done. The most important comment has been, if you use foil tape, the foil tape will work hard enough after time and break. <laughs> AV9 VBR Antennas is another channel that I watch and I recommend that you shoot over to his channel and subscribe. And he started talking about Faraday cloth or the magic carpet for a ground plane. And I got some. It's amazing. And I started wondering if I could replace the copper foil tape with this fabric to make an antenna. A little more research and I found out they make Faraday tape. Yes! Because it's Faraday cloth, I've made the Farrah J. So how well does it work, you might ask? Well, let's have a look. This is Victor Echo 6, a Sierra Foxtrot X-ray doing a radio check. Can anybody copy? V6, S7, X, <laughs> V6, Mike Tango. Let's dig into this. It was simple as I got a chunk of fabric, I threw some of the tape down, and I started sewing it down on the best estimate of a J-pole. down to this guy I really had to extend out the stub and this this section here is probably 12 to 16 inches longer than what the calculator said but the SWR seems to be okay the frequency seems to be okay is this the best test environment oh heck no but 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 all my other antennas have been tested literally just hanging off of this door so this guy here, what's interesting is, is that here's where the feed point is that the calculator told me to go. And that is, you know, a good five, six inches, which kind of scales with how much longer I've made the stub. We're looking at 18, 185. Yeah, you know what? 1,500. 1,500. So we've gone from here to hear any of you science likes out there that can explain why I've gone from 1080 to 1500 it would be awesome if you know what's going on I suspect it's a velocity factor thing I don't know maybe it's the metal the metal inside of this stuff is I believe a nickel I'm going to try to hit the repeater that's quite a ways away. This is Victor Echo 6 at Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray doing a radio check. Can anybody read me? I should probably have my other radio out. Catch the call sign of the station that was in there looking for the radio check, but you're in there. Uh, not super strong, but you're, you're there. Copy. Well, V6 Mike Bravo. <laughs> VE6 Mike Bravo. This is VE6 at Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray, and uh, thank you very much. All right, so let's try the closer repeater. This is Victor Arco 6, Sierra Fox Trot X ray. V6 SFX VE6 NRO. Uh, good signal into the repeater, just a little bit of scratchiness, but uh, uh, good signal. I think there was someone else uh, coming in on the conversation. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, that gentleman there, he's coming in 5x5, five five, full quality, in bridge line here. Uh, back to you, Neil. Chris, thank you very much. So, oh, Ben, I assume you heard that. That was the um, A60JC giving you a that's five five, but I wonder if he meant five nine in bridge line. Go ahead, Ben. Victor Echo 6 CJC, I believe it was Chris. Thank you very much for your signal report. It's fabric. It's you can crunch it. it yeah, this is pretty cool.
Right, so we found out that this works actually incredibly well. Now I skipped a little bit and I did not hit record because I was too excited and I made a duct tape version of this using a thinner piece of Faraday fabric. What's really interesting is you still get really good bandwidth out of a narrower strip. This is Victor Arco 6, a Sierra Foxtrot X-ray doing a radio check. Can anybody copy? V6 SFX, <laughs> V6 Mike Tango, mobile. V6 Mike Tango, thank you very much. So about how far away from the repeater would you say you are? I would be guessing probably 12 to 15 kilometers. Are there any obstructions or do you have line of sight? I've got a lot of uh, obstructions. So I'm just on a, on the opposite side of a ravine. There's a lot of houses, then it goes through Nose Hill, then to the repeater. Okay, well, if you've got all those obstructions, then you're not too, too bad. I don't want to finish there. Not everybody wants a piece of duct tape in their backpack because the glue leaks out and it's kind of gross. So I grabbed some ribbon and I threw some of the tape down and I sewed it down as I normally would. Also realize that you're gonna to want to hang this from something. Of course I would go into computer-aided design and make some hangers that I can put on either side. I also come up with a fitting that we can put on. And this is sitting on the back side so that any metal that is on this will not short out onto the Faraday fabric. done some heat inserts of M3 screws and that is conductive so that any screw that I put into here will actually hook on to the ring terminals that I put on the back and then I made it so that it grabs the wires so that you can't pull this out. The last little bit here is, is that I use some contact cement to make sure that I adhere this piece down to the fabric and it is good to go. If you want to make this yourself, you totally can. What I'm going to do is make some plans and you'll be able to find them on my Patreon. Um, my Patreon is the Ham Radio Rookie and you'll also find a link down below. And if you do not want to make one of these and you just want to get your hands onto one of them, please join my email list and I will start contacting you as they become available. Victor Echo 6 here, Foxtrot X-ray. Uh, this antenna that you're talking about, uh, were we talking about a two meter as well? And I'm, I apologize, I didn't pick up the other call sign. Hey, you're on line with Victor Echo 6 Bravo Delta Romeo. Victor Echo 6 Bravo Delta Romeo, this is Victor Echo 6 here, Foxtrot X-ray. He is the maker of the antenna um, that I was using to test and talk with you while you were out driving. Well, congratulations on the engineering. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it, it worked very, very well. And, uh, you know, uh, Greg was able to send a uh, five, 5 watt signal well into uh, Black Diamond, but also High River and, uh, and into Longview. So uh, that's, that's pretty impressive.
There we go. So if you want the plans for it, you can find it on my Patreon. The link will be down below. It will include your 3D print files and all that kind of stuff. If you want kits and or want me to build one for you, I will start an email list and hopefully I can start cranking these out for you guys. I still haven't determined the price yet. It's definitely going to cost about the same as a usual J-Pole, but the one win is, is that something like this can ship in standard letter mail, so the shipping cost will be minuscule. Now, take a look at how much this thing weighs. 1.4 ounces. <laughs> That's crazy. Add a string to it and uh, your feed line and be able to toss this up into a tree and it'd be no problem. Soda and Poto guys. I think this is your antenna. This is Victor Arco 6, Sierra Fox Trot X-Ray, and I'm clearing this channel.